Salutations, my dearest friends. My name is Samantha, and today I'm doing another video where I talk about popular authors and books that I have never read. Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am doing a part two to this video a couple weeks ago, maybe less than a couple weeks ago, I posted a video where I talked about popular authors I've never read from. So this is like a continuation of that because I realized there are many popular authors I've never read from. If you want to watch that video, I will link it down below. In general, some of those authors that I talked about in that video is Colleen Hoover, Sarah J. Mass, Tessa Dare. Don't come for me. I have read a Tessa Dare since then. I have. There are authors I have not read. So I thought I would do a part two to this video of even more books and more authors that are super popular, whether it's on Bookstagram, Book Talk, Booktube, and I just I haven't read them for one reason or another. The reason I wanted to do a part two to this video is because I would love to do like a reading vlog series where I actually read the authors that I mention and kind of take your recommendations on which books to start with. So I thought that would be fun, hence this video. Just because I haven't read from these authors doesn't mean I won't read from them in the future and it also doesn't mean there's anything wrong with these authors. Well, a couple of them towards the end I will say that I will not read from them just maybe because I don't agree with some of the author's behavior, but we'll get to that at the end, okay? All right. First and foremost, and I can't believe I didn't mention her in the last video, I have never read a Mariana Zapata book. Never have read any of her books, and let me tell you why. Number one, her books are massive. They are fucking ginormous. I don't have any present, but I know they are large and in charge, and they're slow burn? Listen, here's the thing. I like my spice, I like my steam. I'm someone who reads a lot of novellas. Like, I like our couples to get together. My books with a little steam. I do, I'm not afraid to admit it. I don't mind insta-love. I don't mind happily ever afters and outrageous, romantic, sweepingly romantic books. I love that shit, I love it. Ariana Zapata is slow burn. Like, I, someone told me one of her books, like, they don't kiss until 70% of the way in. No. No, 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 no. That is too much. I'm here for character development. I'm here for growth. I'm here for tension. I'm here for all that stuff. But 70% of the way in, that that's not slow burn, okay? That is like turtle speed. Just fucking turtle speed. Oh yeah, I have not read her books for that reason. I don't like slow burn. And in general, I will say I don't like contemporary romances. Not many contemporary authors that I will reach for, which is why a lot of these authors are authors that write that subgenre. Because I know myself, I know my reading taste. I read romance as like an escapism, so I want books to be wild and messy and like a telenovela. And sometimes contemporary romances are just, you know, a little boring i'm sorry they're, they're boring especially if it's like two people you guys know i love poly romances i want all my books to be more than like three four five people so to read a romance with just two people a contemporary romance at that it's a little boring for me okay i need i need a little more spice completely gone on, off the train of mariana zapata so we're circling back what's funny is i told you guys that i really really wanted to read some of these authors and I was going to do a reading vlog and I was going to do a series and I gave you the option of a couple authors which one did you want me to read first and I threw Mariana Zapata in there because I knew she was a popular author and she threw her in there but out of all the authors that I had mentioned she was probably the one I didn't want you guys to pick because again her books are massive um, and of course you picked her you didn't so how rude rude you guys really tried me on that one anyways I'm gonna be true to my word I'm gonna read her book so Leave it in the comments down below which one I should start with. I know you guys are going to say that like sports romance, the, I forget the name. All right, another author that may be shocking that I have not read from, and she's very popular on Book Talk, and that is Allie Hazelwood. Again, I just don't read contemporary romances. I don't actually have a good reason for this because all of my friends have read this book and loved it. All of my favorite content creators have read this book and loved it. Like this book right here gets rave reviews. The people love it for very good reason. Like a nerdy shy hero. How cute. It doesn't appeal to me. It's contemporary romance. I don't know what it is. I don't want to read about regular regular people. I want to read about werewolves and vampires or dukes and earls. Like I just want something a little bit different and I feel like contemporary romances don't give me that like butterflies in my stomach, that excitement and that like escapism feel. You know what I mean? How many content creators have already raved about this book? 
Am I too late? Next author I've never read anything from is the author who wrote the Outlander series, Diana Gabaldon. Is that how you pronounce her last name? I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I probably did. Never read the Outlander series. I've never seen the Outlander TV show because I keep telling myself I'm going to read the books before I watch the show. Have I read the show? No, I have not. Again, those books are freaking massive. They're ginormous. And a lot of people say it has like trigger warnings and it's not really a romance and like confusion. I don't really know what this book is. I went to a thrift store like a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. And I found all of the books, all of the books in the mass market paperback size for like $10. And it was a glorious find. They were like pristine condition. And I swore, I swore I was going to read this series. I even know how many times this series has been on my TBR list. Like I don't even make TBR lists. And this has always been on the few that I have made. Have I read it? No, of course I haven't. What? Why would I read books that I already own? I'm being sarcastic. I will actually read these books and I will watch the TV show. The three authors that I've mentioned so far, full intention of reading them, just have not gotten to them yet. Their popular author, oh my gosh, don't get mad guys, Anna Huang. I have actually never read anything from her before. I have one of her books, the one that's like a brother's best friend romance, the first in the series. I feel like this was the book that really popped off on book talk and booktube and everyone loves it and then I feel like she just wrote that series like back to back to back like I already feel like we're on the third or fourth book now slow down I haven't even finished the first one it's contemporary <laughs> I'm sounding like a broken record I have started this book so many times and dnf'd it every single time every single time I get distracted I get bored I end up reading something else I like the brother's best friend trope. That's a fine trope in historic romance, in fantasy, in novellas. But again, contemporary romance, it doesn't it doesn't pull on my heartstrings. So I have DNF'd this book a dozen times. Maybe I'm just gonna skip to the second book. Do we have to read these books in order? Do I have to read these books in order? Or can I skip to the second book? Because maybe it's just the first book that's like not my vibe. I know she's really popular. I promise I will read her. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so sorry. Okay, so all of the authors that I mentioned, great authors, so talented, so creative, love all the content creators that love them. They've been on my TBR for so long. I will get to them. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a series in the future where I visit these very popular authors. So let me know which one I should start with first. I already know you're going to say Mariana Zapata, but okay. And now I'm going to be talking about some authors that I don't read from and I have no intention of reading from them for many reasons. I'm a firm believer in that you vote with your dollar. So the money that you spend on these books is going to support the author, obviously. If the author is doing, portraying, and saying very harmful things within the romance community, it does tend to leave a bad taste in my mouth. I don't really want to support authors that are saying harmful things because there are so many other authors to support. That's just like me personally. I don't talk about this a lot on my channel. If there's an author that I maybe don't agree with or don't feel like reading their books, I just don't talk about them. I'm filming videos right now and I filmed a video where I talked about tropes that I typically don't read and I did talk about authors that exhibit bad behavior and I don't support them. I can't really go into depth in that video. I don't know if you've seen that video yet because again I'm pre-filming so maybe this one went up before that one. I don't know. If it's uploaded I will leave it down below but I didn't really go into detail too much because like I said I like to keep things positive and just chill on my channel but there are a handful of authors that I just they've said and done things that I don't agree with and I just have no intention of reading from them ever. So here we go. I'm going to talk about three. Number one, Cora Riley. So uh, Cora Riley wrote some mafia romances that the plots actually sounded pretty interesting, but she recently came out with a new release that featured a disabled main character. Our heroine was a wheelchair user and the cover and the synopsis had a very poor disability representation and the people of that community, the community that it affects, reached out to her and kind of said, hey, this could be some harmful language that you're using. Here's some of the ways that you can fix it. And the way she responded was 
disgusting. Like, I'm not even gonna, like, sugarcoat it. So disappointing to see such a popular author respond that way, especially because the people that were trying to help her were her own readers. I really do feel like she disrespected that community in general, and her apology wasn't even an apology. She canceled the whole book and basically blamed it on cancel culture and the people that were trying to help her. It was real disgusting behavior. Cannot imagine I will ever read a Cora Riley book. Another author that I just probably will never read from is Willow Winters. I don't really even know where to begin when it comes to Willow Winters. If you get any drama on like Twitter, BookTok, BookTube, I guarantee you Willow Winters' name will be thrown in there. The main thing for me that kind of like threw me off, left a bad taste in my mouth, getting a lot of pushback for some comments that she made and for the fact that she was supporting a very problematic author. She got drunk, went on Twitter, and basically said that she wished one of her followers got hit by a bus. She wished harm on one of her readers because they were giving her criticism for the very harmful words that she was using. And yeah, the way she acted was just horrendous. So yeah, cannot imagine I will read one of her books. She also writes a lot of contemporary books. Not really my vibe anyways. Another author that is really popular, especially on Kindle Unlimited, is LJ Shen. Again, I don't even know where to begin all the drama that comes with this author's name. From what I know, she has been accused of plagiarism about a dozen times. She has been accused of treating her readers very poorly a dozen times. Her books are contemporary, I think, as well. Cannot ever imagine wanting to pick one of them up. So there we go. Not really my vibe. I hate being negative. I truly do. I really love talking about authors that I support and enjoy and love. And in general, there are so many amazing authors for you to support and love. Besides the last three I mentioned, I will read all of the other ones. Just let me know which one you want me to read first, and I would love to do a reading vlog. As always, thank you for sitting here and chatting with me. I know it was a different type of video than what I normally film. I try to keep things positive on this channel. I really do. Now, every once in a while, I like to film something different. So, Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!